Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm Nathan with MastersOfMusic.com. So I picked up a PV6505 mini amp a couple months ago, and I've been jamming with it. I wanted to give you guys a review of it here. So uh, it's got these indicator lights there on the right. We've got two channels. It's got reverb. Um, yeah, so the two channels, you got the foot switch for the green channel boost. And then on the back here, we've got the variable watts. We got 10 and eight or 16 and 8 ohm speaker enable switch. So when you're recording with the DAW, like out your send here or using headphones or whatever, you can disable the speaker. Um, so yeah, it's got a couple of different uh, options here for the foot switch. You can have it plugged into the channel option here. You can have it into the uh, other jack for reverb to control the reverb and the loop. So, uh, so this amp has a couple of different recording options. You got the MSDI uh, output right there, the XLR in the middle, and it's also got a USB port on the end. Uh, but it actually doesn't sound very good. I'll be showing here in a few seconds. Um, you're better off just running a cable out the sand and into an audio interface. That's what I've done for some of these recordings right here. And I also mic'd up an amp. I'll show you as we get started with that. So I'm going to be using this cheap overdrive pedal in, the, uh, in front of the amp. Uh, these are only like 30 bucks. So here we go. All right, so now I'm just going to demo the two different channels and change some of the knobs while I'm playing a few riffs.
Uh, so that's just sort of a quick demo of the kind of sounds you can get with the uh, 6505 MH. Obviously, it's best suited for metal. It's kind of on the harsh side of the tone, um, and it's more harsh the higher you turn the volume. So it's just sort of like that's the sound of the amp. Um, I also need to mention that uh, I changed out the stock preamp tubes. Uh, comes with Ruby tubes. I actually changed them to JJ. Uh, they're not quite as uh, harsh around the edges. They're a little bit smoother as far as distortion goes. Uh, but I've got this other recording I did with the earlier tubes uh, to finish off this video. All right, so then check out mastersofmusic.com for the full written review for more details. I don't want to get too blah, blah, blah in these videos. Uh, the link's in the description and in the upper right corner. So uh, like I said, this song right here, it was recorded with the older tubes, and it's using the out the send method using a software IR and software power amp using the TSC X50. Uh, it's just a lot easier to get a good sound that way than trying to mic uh, a cab. So um, that's one benefit with the effects loop. Uh, so here we go. <laughs> 